Good morning and welcome to the third session on chapter 4, the theory of firm under perfect competition. So in this chapter, in this session, we are going to look into the graphs of the profit maximization and the various other factors in terms of the short run and long run. So moving forward, the geometric representation of profit maximization in a short run. Now, If you look into the graph, you will be able to see that the short run marginal cost, the short run average cost and the average variable cost. So what are the two things that we are going to first take in the graph? On the y axis, you have the price or the cost factor. On the x axis, you have the output factor. So we are going to take two things. One is the price, the other one is the output. Now we all know that in a short run, our ideology, our thought process is that to make the maximum profit in a short run, which means the time limit is very short for us and we need to make the maximum profit here. So what is the ideology? What is the thought process of an entrepreneur, of an industry altogether? We have to keep the marginal cost going up, which means maintain the marginal cost in the short run. You need to maintain the average cost trending on a particular average on a particular mode. At the end of the day, you will be able to see that the short run cost we are able to make profit only if the price is above the short run average cost above the average variable cost you need to maintain the price you need to maintain the cost above the average variable cost at any given point of time you are not supposed to reduce your price lesser than the abc or the average variable cost we had discussed this in the previous session also on the factors saying that if the price comes down below the average variable cost, then automatically it leads to a shutdown point altogether. So at any given point of time, we need to keep in our mind the price of the product should be above the average variable cost. Moving forward. We have the supply curve of the firm. What do you mean by the supply curve of the firm? Now the supply curve of the firm could be understood by the factor of what are the essentialities that a firm will undergo in terms of supply. Now looking at the diagram, you will try to understand the supply factor here. Now what is happening? The goods are being produced in a company somebody is packing it and somebody is getting on to the retail side altogether. So the industry will try to supply the goods as per the demand of the customer. This word is very very important as per the demand. So which means at any given point of time we need to understand as per the demand factor only the supply curve of the firm will be decided. Now the supply firm or the supply curve here itself is very very important. Why? Because if you see here in the demand curve it is a curve that slopes downwards. The supply curve curve is just the opposite it will be moving upwards why does it move upwards because it is based on the demand if the demand increases the supply of the product will also tend to increase so any point of time please keep in mind that the supply for any product in the market is purely dependent on the factors of demand so today, if a product is available in the market, let's say that we are taking a mobile phone itself. If the mobile phone has got a demand, has got an appeal among the consumers, automatically what will happen for that mobile manufacturing firm, they will try to make it more, they will try to manufacture it more and send it across so that they are able to meet the demand of the consumers in the market. So as you see in the diagram, it purely depends upon the demand of the consumer. 
the company cannot take any assumptions in mind and say that the supply will happen i will just keep supplying so at one fine morning you will get whatever goods that are necessary you cannot take into assumptions and start manufacturing you can only supply based on the demand factors at any given point of time now moving forward the short run supply curve of the firm it is a very very same and similar curve we are going to see here same price and cost you are going to see on your y axis on the x axis you are seeing the output now what is the difference here now when you are supplying a product how will you supply a product you will not just supply it because somebody has asked for you again you will supply based on a price and based on the demand so your output that you are going to supply will be purely dependent on the factors of your price which means at any given point of time we need to keep in mind that the supply curve will be able to match above the average variable cost and then it has to go above the short run average cost and we should be able to match the price of the market so at any given point of time please keep in mind that the price factor in supply will keep the average variable cost and will be above it you will not be able to supply below the average variable cost because even for the industry who is going to supply the goods to the market he needs to keep in mind the factor that the price cannot go below the average variable cost he needs to keep the average variable cost in mind and then start supplying it so this becomes very very important for us in the short run supply of the firm now to give a practical example in this situation suppose you start looking into the seasonal business that happens in our country for example mango pulp business now mango is a fruit that's available during summer so typically 3 months in india the fruit mango has got a maximum demand so what people tend to do is that the supply will also be at the peak during that 3 months in that 3 months the price of the mango will tend to go on a particular trend on a particular manner as the market suppose there is a huge demand for the mango automatically the price factor will also go up moment what they tend to do here is that they tend to see that the average variable cost is accepted they will tend to keep on increasing the price as the supply goes up so that they are able to meet the demand of the consumer and if they come to know the consumer is ready to pay a particular price for the mango the supply will also get adjusted and the pricing will be done in such a manner that they are able to meet the demand now what i try to conclude here on this factor of short run supply curve is that just as we saw in the profit maximization similarly for supply side also the price cannot go below the average variable cost at any point of time the price has to be above the average variable cost because if you tend to make it smaller if you tend to make it go down will automatically hit the shutdown point which means you have to come out of the industry altogether that will be a complete loss and the firm has to lose the business altogether so it is very very important that we keep in our mind at any given point of time during the supply also the price will not go below the average variable cost because if it goes below the average variable cost then we are making a loss altogether moving forward price less than abc now we come to the factors of what is going to happen in terms of the price coming down lesser than the abc now let's look into the graph very clearly on the y axis price on the x axis output so you are clear on the x axis you have the output on the y axis you have the price factor now what happens if you start seeing if i put the price here now there are many kinds of price if i put a p1 
P2 or if I tend to keep moving my price factors at higher and higher, automatically I'm above the average variable cost. But I come to a point where my price is below the average variable cost. If you see, my price is tending downwards at this particular juncture. So if I come down below the average variable cost at this juncture, I would call this point as my loss function altogether or my shutdown function if the price tends to go below the average variable cost it will lead to a shutdown point it will lead to a loss i will have to close the industry immediately now why this is important for us to know suppose you are running an industry and you are into export business let's say that you are into garments export business textile sector in that case, when you are supplying the materials to the retailers, to the distributors, you will keep in mind all the average variable cost, all the factors, and then fix a price during the supply of good. Just because you want to give discounts, just because you want to promote yourself, you will not tend to lessen down your price. If you start moving your price downwards, lesser than your average variable cost, that will not be able to make up for your basic existence itself. So it is very important keeping all your average cost variable factors, you need to keep a price above it. So when you start seeing your supply curve moving upwards, that is your short run marginal cost and the price coming below the average variable cost, then the company is completely moving to a shutdown point. That is the point where you need to keep in your mind, you are going to exit out of it. That industry is going to go back into the history. It is not going to be in live action anymore. So it is very, very important for all of us to understand whenever we manufacture, we need to keep in our mind all the cost factors that will match the average variable cost and you need to price above it. If you price below it, automatically it will tend to lead you to a loss situation altogether. Now, I just want to add on a practical example at this point of time. Now, if you start looking at certain sectors in our country, because of the crisis, because of emergency times, because of factors that happen across in our environment, the business tends to start weakening down. There are many sectors in India, especially agriculture sectors, farmers, if you start looking, they, in order to make some money, in order to make some profit, they just want to sell their products in the market. So even at the lowest price possible, they just want to give away the product. What happens to them because of this? They lose out on their profit. They lose out even on the basic existence itself. Now, for example, the price of tomato as per the market is 10 rupees and the farmer decides that he wants some money. So he starts selling the price at below 10. He starts selling the tomato at 4 rupees or 5 rupees per kg. Automatically, what he does is that he's not keeping in mind the average variable cost. He's only thinking about money, about his existence. So what he does is that he economically pushes himself down below the average variable cost and he just tries to sell the product in the market when he does that factor he lands up in loss he is not even able to cover the basic cost and the total economy starts weakening downwards so this is a situation that you need to keep in mind whenever a company tries to price its product below the average variable cost it will tend to lead into a shutdown point automatically now moving forward what happens of a long run supply curve of a firm? Now, I am a business which tends to exceed myself for years to come. So, my supply factor is never ending. That's what I theoretically believe myself. Now, for an example, if I take Hindustan Lever Limited, the leader in FMCG products in India, fast moving consumer goods, what they tend to do is that they tend to do a business that is for years. They have been existence in this business for more than 60 years. 
so their ideology is that keeping the marginal factors keeping the average cost factors they tend to supply the product continuously in the market but when they tend to do it you need to understand there are different levels of prices the first level p1 and the second level p2 now if you start seeing here at the level p1 if you start seeing it's on an average basis and slowly the average cost dips and goes upwards here initially the marginal cost will be on a declining trend then it slowly starts going upward so you will see that the marginal cost is tending on the higher side it goes up like this and the average cost will also start moving upwards and then it starts settling down now what is the significance of this graph keeping price on the y-axis and output on the x-axis the significance of this graph is that even in the long run we need to keep in our mind that at any point of time we will not dip ourselves below the average cost whatever happens the average cost has to be maintained and it has to be supplied in that manner so that we are able to make profit in any given point of time so this is very very important when it comes to the average cost cost and long run supply of the firm now the price less than long run average cost now in the long run if you want to survive suddenly you start bringing the price factor lesser than what happens if you start lessening your price again you lead to the same shutdown point altogether why in the long run please keep in mind you have already taken into factors of the marginal cost and the average cost now just because you want to exist you want to pull along your industry for a longer time period you start shortening your prices you start weakening your prices below the average cost that is at this juncture altogether then what happens you are not able to survive you are not able to run the industry altogether you suddenly start seeing that you are incurring losses so whatever might be the situation the company will tend to keep the price above the average cost only when it's going above the average cost they are able to run the business and they are able to make the profit now to give a practical example during the time of emergency during the time of any crisis we start asking ourselves this question in spite of economy being weaker in spite of economy going down still the prices have not gone down the consumer is still affected he is not able to get goods at a cheaper price altogether why is that because if you look from a company standpoint they cannot lessen the prices all of a sudden just because of a crisis or emergency for their survival they need to keep the price above the average cost so that they are able to survive they are able to pay their employees they are able to run the industry they are able to manage their capital so in any given point of time for any industry they will tend to understand that lessening of prices will never give them profit lessening of prices does not mean it will improve their sales they need to keep in mind the average and they have to be always above the average in order to survive in this business so this is a very very important concept in this mind we have to take it because at any given point of time we cannot go below average always we need to stay above the average cost and we need to take it forward so with this i would like to conclude today's session thank you for joining me on this wonderful session today i hope and i believe that you have learned some new concepts about the supply curve the cost factors in the next session we will be talking about shutdown point and the other factors that are involved in the theory of perfect competition until then goodbye thank you stay learning and stay enlightened thank you once again for joining me today